Hi guys, welcome back to Cup of Teach and today we're going to solve problems involving variation. Let's have your problem number one. The distance that a car can travel varies directly with the number of liters of gasoline in the tank. If a car can go 112 kilometers on 14 liters of gas, how far can it go on 9 liters? First, we're going to assign variable for distance that a car can travel. So I'm going to use Y. Next, number of liters of gasoline, I'm going to use X. For the table, so that is distance that a car can travel, Y. Number of liters of gasoline, that is X. Next, given 112 kilometers on 14 liters of gas. So yung 112 kilometers, I'm going to write here for the distance that a car can travel. And then, yung 14 liters, dito ko siya ilalagay sa number of liters of gas. Next is 9 liters. So, how far can it go on 9 liters? So, yung 9 liters, ilalagay ko siya dito sa number of liters of gas or gasoline. And the missing is distance that a car can travel. Then, let us translate distance that a car can travel varies directly. So, this is the keyword with the number of liters. So, that is y is equal to k times x, where k is constant. Let us use the first column, that is 112 and 14. So, for y, that is 112. And for x, that is 14. So by substitution, y is equal to k times x. So 112 is equal to k times 14. Divide both sides by 14. So you can cancel 14. Then sa right side, matitira k. Then 112 divided by 14, that is 8. So this is now the constant. Then since meron na tayong constant, we can solve for the distance that a car can travel for 9 liters. Use the original equation, y is equal to kx, wherein k is 8 and your x is 9. So by substitution, we will have now y is equal to 8 times 9. And 8 times 9 is 72. Therefore, the distance that a car can travel for 9 liters is 72 kilometers. Problem 2. The number of days a bag of bread lasts varies inversely as the number of people who consume it. If a bag of bread lasts 7 days for 12 people, how long will it last for 3 people? First, we're going to assign variable for the number of days a bag of bread lasts. So, I'm going to assign y. Number of people who consume it, I'm going to use x. Then, for the table, number of days, a bag of bread last, that is y. Number of people who consume it, that is x. Then, next, given 7 days for 12 people. So, I'm going to place here 7 days, then 12 people. Next, how long will it last for 3 people? So, I'm going to place here. 3 people. So, ang missing number of days a bag of bread last for 3 people. So, first, let us translate number of days a bag of bread last varies inversely, that is the keywords, as the number of people who consume it. So, in equation, that is y is equal to k over x. Then, let us use the first column. Ang y natin is 7, ang x natin ay 12. So, that is 7 is equal to k over 12. And then, multiply both side by 12 to solve for k. You can cancel 12. Then, sa right side, matitira ay k. Then, 12 times 7, that is 84. This is now the constant. So, since meron na tayong constant, we can solve now for the number of days a bag of bread last. Using the original equation, y is equal to k over x. So, this time, 
Ang gagamitin natin for x is 3. And then, k, 84. So, y is equal to 84 divided by 3. And 84 divided by 3, that is 28. Therefore, 28 days para sa tatlong people. Problem number 3. The area of a triangle varies jointly with its base and height. If the base is 11 centimeters and the height is 15 centimeters, the area is 495 square centimeters. What is the area when the base is 9 centimeters and the height is 12 centimeters? First, we're going to assign variable 4, the area of a triangle. So I'm going to use capital letter A. For the base, small letter B. For the height, H. Actually, kahit anong variable, pwede nyong gamitin. And then, we're going to translate this into equation, wherein the keywords is varies jointly. So, A is equal to K times B times H, wherein B is base and H is height, and A is area. Next, given 11 centimeter, that is the base, height 15, area 495. So, by substitution, that is 495 for the area, we just copy the constant K, base is 11, H is 15. Then multiply 11 and 15, that is 165. Next, we're going to solve for K by dividing both sides by 165. So you can cancel 165. So ang matitira sa right side, K na lang. Then 495 divided by 165, that is 3. So this is now the constant. The question is, what is the area when the base is 9 cm and the height is 12 cm? We're going to use the original equation, A is equal to K times B times H. By substitution again, pero this time, ang gagamitin na natin for the base is 9. And for the height, 12. And K is 3. So, area is equal to 3 times 9 times 12. Therefore, the area is 324. Then, square centimeters. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. If you learned something here, don't forget to like and subscribe to Cup of Teach. See you on the next lesson. Bye!